Assalamu alaikum. Hi guys. In this video, I'm going to continue from the previous one. We are going to describe the hybridization process. We will continue from BH3. Draw the Lewis structure first. And then I have sigma bond, three of them. So I'm going to put number of sigma bond, three. There is no lone pair on boron. And the total will be three. So your type of hybridization for boron will be sp2. Okay. And next one, we are going to do the hybridization process for boron. We have three valence electrons for boron in period two. So one, two, three. And next, kita, na kita nampak we have three sigma bonds. So maknanya kena ada tiga unpack electron. So, I'm going to excite this one into 2p orbital. Saya akan dapat 1 here and then 2 electrons into p orbital. Next one, kita ada boron at hybrid state because we want to form sp2. Maknanya guna 3 unpack electron ni bergabung akan jadi sp2. Each of them ada satu electron. And then what's left? Awak ada satu orbital yang kosong kat sini. So, ini adalah empty 2p orbital. Masih lagi perlu lukis. Wajib. So, settle untuk hybridization process for boron, our central atom. Now, continue with hydrogen at ground state. Kita ada satu electron. So, I put one electron there. Now, we are going to draw where for our boron, orbital overlapping dia, kita kena tunjuk sp2. So, sp2... Dia punya orbital arrangement adalah trigonal planar. So, I'm going to start with boron. Trigonal planar, macam mana bentuk dia? Kalau tak boleh draw straight away, buat dulu draft awak ada dalam bentuk triangle. And then, I'm going to draw one loop. And then, one loop. And then, one loop. So, awak ada tiga loops dan ini adalah sp2. Jangan lupa label. So, this is for boron. And next one, kita ada sigma bond sebanyak tiga di mana sp2 hybrid orbitals for boron akan overlap dengan 1s orbital for hydrogen. N to N. So, maknanya hujung ke hujung saya akan ada this one, satu. Sebab ada tiga hidrogen, maknanya tiga spherical shape. Three of them. Jangan lupa label 1S untuk each of them for hydrogen. And the next one, kita ada elektron dua dekat sini untuk orbital overlap. And then kita akan indicate sebagai sigma bond. And next one. We have the molecular geometry kekal sama because we don't have lone pair for boron dekat sini. So, I'm going to write the same molecular geometry as trigonal planar. And for the bond angle, kalau nampak dekat sini, it is based on trigonal planar. So, maknanya 120 between sigma bond and sigma bond. So, I'm going to write from here to here. 120 degree. So, ini adalah orbital overlapping for BH3. Very simple. Next, we go for PCL5. PCL5, draw the Lewis structure first. And then, jangan lupa label the sigma bond. So, kita akan calculate sekarang. Sigma bond for phosphorus, we have 5 of them. And then, there is no lone pair. So, the total will be 5. So, 5, as I mentioned before, SPP and then kita ada D5 sebab 5 shapes. And now, we are going to use 5 of them. So, 1S, 3P dan 1D. So, the type of hybridization akan jadi SP3D. So, this is for phosphorus. And then, kalau lihat terminal atom saya adalah klorin, di mana klorin ada satu sigma bond dan tiga lone pairs. So, maknanya dalam kes ini, dia punya type of hybridization adalah sp3. Tapi, tak perlu tunjuk proses dia sebab dia hanyalah terminal atom. At least, label sahaja pun sudah memadai. 
Now we go for the phosphorus. Phosphorus at ground state, we have five valence electrons in period three. So I got one, two, three, four, five. So I choose draw empty 3D orbital because I have only three unpaired electrons untuk buat bonding. But I got five here. So that's why saya akan excite one electron here into empty 3D orbital. So saya akan tinggal satu, dua, tiga, empat, lima. And then daripada lima ni, saya, dia akan mix together to form hybrid orbitals iaitu sp3d so setiap satu ni ada satu elektron and then the rest of them kalau nampak dekat sini saya ada empat kosong untuk 3d orbitals maknanya saya kekalkan dan saya letak sebagai empty 3d orbital settle for hybridization process for phosphorus our central atom Now we go for chlorine. Chlorine at ground state, dia terminal atom. So kita hanya ada 7 electrons in period 3. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now we are going to show the orbital overlapping. For phosphorus, kita tahu dia adalah sp3d. So I'm going to show you phosphorus sp3d dalam bentuk orbital arrangement as trigonal by pyramidal so let's do this so this is for phosphorus letak p symbol phosphorus dekat tengah and then now we are going to show the orbital overlapping between phosphorus dan chlorine chlorine tadi dia dalam ground state 3p orbital so kita ada dumbbell sebanyak 5 for each sp3d hybrid orbital so dia akan overlap together kita akan dapat So, this is the orbital overlapping untuk PCL5. Kalau lihat dekat sini, molecular geometry dia kekal sebagai trigonal bipyramidal because there is no lone pair at the central. Sebab tu dia sama sahaja dengan orbital arrangement dia. Now, we got the angle for trigonal bipyramidal. Ada dua, 90 degree dan juga 120 saya akan label from here to here sigma bond dekat sini sebagai 120 degree dan from here to here adalah 90 degree settle for PCL 5 now we go for the last one SF6 kita ada Lewis structure for SF6 like this one and then label the sigma bond So, saya ada 6 sigma bond dekat sini for SF6. So, 6 sigma bonds on sulfur and 0 lone pair. So, the total is 6. And I got SPPDDDDD. So, dalam kes ini kita guna 6. So, 6 maknanya we are going to use SPP dah 4. 5, 6. So, 2 daripada D. So, hanya this one. Bila kita gabung semua, dia akan jadi SP3D2. So, itu adalah type of hybridization for sulfur in SF6. Now, we go for the hybridization process. Sulfur at ground state, kita ada 6 valence electrons in period 3. So, I'm going to put my electrons 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Kerana kita perlukan 6 sigma bonds dekat sini. That is why saya akan excite the electrons from lower energy orbital kepada higher energy orbital to get 6 unpacked electrons just like this one. And then next one, I got sulfur at hybrid state di mana saya akan gabung ataupun mix the unpacked electrons here to get sp3d so saya boleh buat terus macam ni label sekaligus sebagai sp3d di mana dalam orbital ni ada 6 unpacked electrons 6 of them dan another 3 more dia tak ada electron so kita akan label sebagai empty 3d orbitals next we got fluorine at ground state kalau lihat untuk 
SF6 Dia punya type of hybridization adalah SP3D2 Tapi untuk fluorine kita tahu Dia ada 1 sigma and 3 lone pair So 4 of them jadi SP3 As I mentioned before Kita tak perlu tunjuk hybridization process untuk terminal Hanya guna ground state sahaja That is why fluorine ada 7 valence electrons in period 2 So saya akan draw ground state sahaja Next, we are going to draw the orbital overlapping. So, saya ada sulfur dia punya sp3d2, 6 of them yang akan adopt the basic shape octahedral. So, the orbital arrangement akan jadi octahedral. So, we are going to start. And then the next one, show the orbital overlapping end to end with 2p orbital for the fluorine. Last one, jangan lupa label. This one dekat tengah adalah sulfur. Dan each of 2p orbital adalah untuk F, fluorine. Ada 6. So, untuk orbital 2p for terminal atom, label salah satu je. Tak perlu tulis dua-dua dekat sini. Tak perlu tulis dua-dua. Salah satu je daripada 2 loops. And then, the molecular geometry for this one stay the same with orbital arrangement. Kita ada octahedral juga sebab no lone pair on the central atom. And the bond angle is 90 degree. So, how am I going to label my bond angle? Saya akan ambil daripada sigma to sigma. Contohnya, saya nak ambil dekat sini. So, maybe saya move sikit lah sigma ni untuk ke tempat yang atas. Saya letak here. Sebab saya nak show the bond angle. From here to here is 90 degree. So, settle untuk orbital overlapping for SF6. So, that's it for this video. Awak dah belajar banyak sangat drawing untuk several examples here. I hope you can enjoy drawing the hybridization process and showing the orbital overlapping. I'm going to continue the video in the next part. Bye!